Hey everybody, Jonathan here. I'm at Brick Fair, Virginia. Decided to make a very last minute trip here. Wasn't planning on it, but excited to be here. And it looks huge this year, so let's get exploring. So I'm actually amazed at how much bigger it is this year compared to years past. Uh, wow, that is so cool. All right, we're gonna come back and look at the mocks once things are a little bit more set up, but now the vendors are all along the back area here, whereas they used to be all in that room. And now that room is all mock stuff. So I'm really impressed. It got really, really massive. And uh, of course I'm itching to see what the vendors got for sale. So that's where we're headed now. seconds after arriving, we ended up at Jimmy John's. That's the way. Brick University always pulls up with unbelievable stuff at these conventions. Come on. It's unbelievable. <laughs> oh my gosh, we gotta open it up. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. How many vertical sets do you see though? That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. So Belleville, everybody's favorite theme ever. Uh, but this is crazy because it's a European box, but we've got this sticker on it, which all over all the years, even to present day, when Lego has to import sets from Europe, they have to put these choking hazard stickers on them. And the stickers actually changed over the years before it can be sold in the US because they have to have certain like stipulations on it. Now it has to actually have to say the Peace Count and stuff, but back then apparently only had to have the choking hazard. Underneath, we have this crazy one, the little uh, wedding carriage here. And uh, what's cool about this, I just learned, is that this one is brunette, which was made exclusively for Europe for the Duchess of Denmark and in the States and everywhere else she was blonde. So how wild is that? My cousin Miles had this growing up and when we'd go visit in Delaware, I always wanted it so bad. Now's my chance. <laughs> wow, employee Managers gift 2014. Well, the afternoon has been spent catching up with people and seeing everybody, which is always good. But now people are loading in for the yard sale. First one of the weekend, and it's gonna be crazy. I mean, come on, look at that already. Craziness.
Holy Lego set number four. <laughs> Got the gears here and even the insert tray, but that's crazy. Close while the camera. Friday at the convention and basically Thursday the big highlight of course was the yard sale which was crazy last night and now Friday people are just kind of setting up as you can see still coming to life here but that's half the fun is to see stuff develop and run into old friends and see how it goes so Friday let's get it look how cool this is they did the Quinjet with the cockpit that actually moves down just like the movie that is actually really cool
as you know, this is your SIG from 2022. Yes. I made you. This was gifted to me by Evo the Brick Buster in 2022. Looks just like me. Got the Mini Super Heroes Today logo on the back. Got the logo on the front. Arm printing, if you will. Yep. Super cool, man. So back at when I made this figure, the coat is out of electrical tape. The legs are just uh, painted on the shoes. Uh, the regular Lego blue legs. And then all the detail is painted by me. And as you know, it's not exactly accurate to your logo, but I did add the MST on the It's arm, close, yeah. Because I it's think close. it's pretty, I think it's kind of a nice little detail. Yeah, I'll say. This brick fair I've made to you a brand new updated oh sick face <laughs> that matches the likeness more uh it's got a lot more detail wow. it's focused on uh, the sick pig let's look at our side by side <laughs> oh my gosh that is wild you even got rid of the cow lick yep <laughs> that's I impressive that down. Thank wow you. oh my gosh that is so cool I tried man. to hide that as best i could wow sick got the face, msd like on there Yep. The detail is insane. And bro. I did keep this for fun because I do think it is pretty fun having the uh, yep, the MST logo. on the arm. That is incredible, man! Holy cow! I don't know how it. Every year you outdo yourself, bro. Last year was Toby. Yep, last My year gosh. was Toby. All right, it is Saturday here at Brick Fair, Virginia. Public day, which means everybody's here, and it's about to get crazy. So let's see what's up. Saturday's come to a close, so it's yard sale time, and people are just now getting set up. So they're not quite set up, but you can see the tables are here, and it's almost time. This was only given out at the Rome Lego store when the Coliseum came out. It's a gladiator minifig. Super, super rare to see in person. It's unreal. Okay, so it's three in the morning. The fire alarm goes off and the fire truck shows up at the hotel. I mean, yeah, I don't even know what to say. I'm too tired. Okay, well that lasted probably about 15, 20 minutes, and I guess we're going back in. Crazy. Doesn't even feel like this happened. <laughs> All right, it's Sunday at Brick Fair, Virginia. That means we're coming to a close. Sunday's generally a little more quiet, but I'm not so sure about that today. It's pretty packed, so 
one last time to go around, see everything there is to see, then head home and check out the hall. So let's get it. Brick Fair lunch. <laughs> So we all know Evo the Brick Buster makes the best customs in the game. Got my guy Dr. Raymond Stance here with the PKE and the Proton Pack. He did make all four Ghostbusters, but of course we all know Ray is my fave. That is amazing. And we've got a little mini Stay Puff. That is so cool. Oh, yeah, I know Ray <laughs> Well, Brick Fair is officially over. Everybody's tearing down. Sad to see. Always the saddest part of the time. Womp womp. All right, at the end of the day, Brick University always pulls up with the craziest stuff. One of 125 Toy Fair 2011 Mini Land Boba Fett. Literally never seen one in person and probably never will again. <laughs> wow. Oh, I bet. interesting thing about traveling means you can't take everything home with you so I have to leave these boxes behind all of them were open well pretty much for the most part anyways but these were all yard sale fine so we'll just go ahead and kick off the haul here so getting all of this here I think it came out to like $200 if I'm not mistaken uh, the vendor that I bought it from made me a really great deal so this one was sealed but I had to open it to make space to get home but as you can see, the prices on all of this stuff were insane. I mean, this one for 15 bucks. Are you kidding me? With the Watcher exclusive minifig, that one is insane. Getting those original Iron Legion as well as Ultron Mark I. Uh, this is actually two sets and one that were sold as a combo. So we got the War Machine Buster as well as the Iron Man Hall of Armor from Endgame from 2019. This was a crazy good find. The Superhero Airport Battle from Civil War. And then, of course, the original 2012 Batwing Battle over Gotham City. So, unfortunately, you know, I did have to open all these or take the bags out or whatever. But uh, now we're going to hop on the plane, get home, and show you the rest of the haul of the stuff I could actually take home. Now guys, we'll talk about minifigures at the end of the video, but don't forget to check out the link down below uh, to my Whatnot stream. A lot of the stuff you see pop up in this haul might just end up in my next Whatnot stream this weekend. So check that out and make sure you subscribe over there on Whatnot so you could get some of this for your collection from me. Okay, so now I'm back home and can show you the rest of the haul. I picked up this for 20 bucks. It's a Lego mosaic set, as you can see from 2007, and it's sealed. I just thought that this was really interesting. I actually have it loose, but I've never seen one sealed in the package. Basically, you just use these one-by-one -one bricks and you build these mosaics. So I thought this was really cool, and I don't know, for 20 bucks, it's just a cool piece of Lego history. Speaking of Lego history, got the Black Panther Rhino Face-Off by the Mine, which has three, I believe, exclusive minifigs in it. The Powered Up Black Panther with the concept art blue color shade, Okoye, and Killmonger here. Really nice sealed for 25 bucks, as you can see, so definitely happy with that. Kind of move the camera here to get a little closer to these sets. I do not remember what I paid for this, but this is the Johnny Thunder Adventurers Orient Expedition Jungle River. I have this as a kid and remember playing with it. Really cool and very awesome to get sealed from the year 2003. So been sealed for over 20 years. How crazy is that? This is interesting. I don't really know a ton about it, but it's a vertical set, as you can see. The box is tall, and uh, it says, specially made for airline companies. It's my understanding that this was uh, sold, like, on planes in Europe, as crazy as that is. 97 pieces, and really cool to get, like, that minifig and this rescue helicopter here that can pick up the vehicle. Then, of course, we've got those classic LEGO system alternate builds shown on the back. 
This next piece actually isn't for me. I picked this up for Duck Bricks. I texted him and was like, dude, have you ever seen this? And he hadn't, and I uh, had to get it for him. But this is the Octodesk Summit 2021 edition. And you can see that the box is basically the same on the front and back. It had been built previously, but I'll open up the instructions here and show you that we've got these sticker sheets here that you could like put on the figure or the computer or whatever you want. And we've got a really interesting instruction booklet here, too. This is an official LEGO set, but it's one of those things that would have been made as, like, a licensed out thing. So maybe LEGO didn't, like, maybe actually manufacture or distribute this. They just gave the license for it. But either way, never have seen this before and definitely really unique. Finally, picked up the Back to the Future DeLorean here. This, is, of course, is from CUSO, which was the predecessor to LEGO Ideas. This is complete in the box. Just have to rebuild it. The box is a little damaged, but hey, it's still cool to have complete in the box. So let's move on to some other stuff now. If you thought this was all the haul was, oh boy, are you in for a treat. There's more. So in the polybag game, picked up some really good Marvel polybags. Of course, the 2021 Shang-Chi and Great Protector. Got Doctor Strange's Portal the Guardian's ship from Infinity War, and the Black Panther Royal Talon Fighter from Black Panther. Then, of course, this one's a good one. The sealed Silver Centurion Polybag, the GameStop exclusive, very, very rare, arguably the best Iron Man minifig ever made. And then this is interesting. This comes from Europe. It's a Darth Vader tin. And when we lift up the tin, hopefully I can do this one-handed, we've got the Darth Vader minifig just bouncing around inside. So, Pretty interesting, that. I've never seen that before. I guess it's relatively new, but those are the promos and poly bags. Then I picked up a bunch of Marvel CMF Series 2. As you can see, they were never built. I guess somebody just opened them and put them in bags, so that's interesting. I also forgot about a couple other poly bags. The Jor-El promotional poly bag from Man of Steel, as well as the Rocket Raccoon poly bag, which is definitely interesting. Um, this is from 2014. It came with an extra sticker sheet. And although you can't really see it very well on the bag, it does have amazing dark red printed arms that look good on Star-Lord or Gamora to upgrade them. One other thing is, I got this card from a fan that hand drew a little message here. Always appreciate getting fan mail and stuff from you guys, but uh, this fan unfortunately could not find me and gave it to somebody else at the convention, hoping they would find me, and they did. So thank you so much for this, and definitely very grateful. All right, picked up some really cool Lego store uh, accessory packs here. This one being the Nightmare Batman with the Parademons from Justice League. Really, really cool set, that one. I guess it might be from BVS. I guess it's kind of from both, doesn't matter. Anyway, Spider-Man here is a 4X minifig pack with Venom in his golf cart of doom. Venomized Iron Man, Pork Rind, and Spider-Man. This is a really good one in that Pork Rind, and technically I believe the Iron Man are exclusive because uh, Iron Man has a slightly different helmet print here, and of course Pork Rind is uh, exclusive to this set on his own right. I got this Justice League Attack of the Legion of Doom DVD, and it just so happened to come with this minifigure. Who would have thought? No, I'm kidding. Of course I bought it for the minifigure. This is the Trickster, who was exclusive to this DVD pack, which is pretty cool. And I also picked up this Lego Sports Basketball 1v1 action set. I actually had this as a kid, and it's pretty cool. It's got like a uh, paper mat there that looks like a basketball court that you attach the basketball hoop to, and then, of course, you just kind of move your player around trying to make the basket shot. So that's really cool. Picked up an Iron Man Lego Club magazine from 2013, celebrating Iron Man 3. Also, this SpongeBob set, it's Glove World with the Ferris wheel. A little difficult to see, I guess, in the bag, but I'll get it built and shown on the channel here soon. As well as an Infinity War Bricktober pack with all of those great exclusive minifigs inside. That is awesome. And finally, this brings us to the minifigure haul. And we gotta start over here with all of these Ultron drones. Somebody had these out at a table, and I was like, you know what? This is going to be the best Ultron drone army building opportunity ever to get so many. And I even was able to find an Ultron, uh, I think this is Prime, uh, at another table. So that was insane. Got two shield agents, a Sakaran warrior, Loki, Black Widow with the wrong head. I just really wanted these figures in the back for parts. Armored Batman. Uh, MC Bricks gave me this keychain, which is a uh, mini kit from Star Wars, which is cool. Just kind of all stuff through here. Superman got the Quicksilver from 2015, only ever came in one set. Polybag Martian Manhunter, 2014 Rocket Raccoon, the original Wolverine from 2012 that literally looks just like Wolverine and Deadpool, or Deadpool and Wolverine version. 
2006 Batman and Catwoman, Doctor Doom, MODOK, Ant-Man, Deadpool, what's up, 2003 Peter Parker, uh, let's see, The Penguin here, concept art, Hank Pym, Ant-Man, just so much good stuff, an absolutely legendary minifigure haul, guys, so I had a great time at the convention, it was a lot more low-keyed this year than years previous, but as you can see, the haul definitely was fun and great, so don't forget to check out my whatnot, which I'll link down below, a lot of this stuff will pop up there, so let me know your guys' thoughts, and I will see you guys on the next video.